In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for the chromium in barium dichromate, BACR2O7. So when we look at this compound here, there's no negative or positive sign after it. That's because the whole thing's a neutral compound. So because it's a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. So barium on the periodic table, that's in group two. So it'll have a plus two oxidation number. Chromium, that's the transition metal. We don't know what that is. Let's just call that X. We have two of these chromium atoms. And then oxygen, almost always, with just a few exceptions, minus two. So we know that these numbers, all of this, will add up to zero. So we could just set up an equation. Barium's two plus. So we have two plus, we don't know the chromium. We have two times X, two X. And the oxygen, seven times minus two, that's minus 14. That'll all equal zero. So 2x minus 12, that'll equal zero. So let's add 12 to both sides. So we get 2x equals a positive 12. So x is going to equal a positive 6. So the oxidation number on each of these chromium atoms, that's going to be a positive 6. All of these oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero because this is a neutral compound. We should note that the Cr2O7 right here, this is the dichromate ion. It does have a two minus ionic charge. So you could have used this rule here to try to figure it out. Although I think the way we've done it here is a little bit easier. This is Dr. B with the oxidation number for the chromium in BaCr2O7. Thanks for watching.